The thing that draws me to Sung Art is this refinement in the brushwork and the subdued color scheme. I think it's a timeless beauty. My childhood was spent in forests and in the countryside. When I started searching for motifs, something I can paint on, for me was mostly plants, insects, nature. So this is some porcelain I painted as a schoolgirl. I can't remember that I ever painted a figure. It was just flowers, insects, a very decorative approach, but in that way, always identifiable. It's uh, satisfying to see that I was so early attracted to a uh, Chinese motif. Song Dynasty is considered really epitome of Chinese culture and art. It was a very civil society, highly cultivated and highly educated. That is especially expressed in Song Dynasty art. I worked with Song Arts for decades, and the fun part for a curator is collaborating with uh, conservation. We have specifically experts who treat Chinese paintings, which is an art in itself. The patch that is close to the original texture. Yeah. Yeah, I see, I see the silk matching perfectly. Song Dynasty art uh, tries to address more than your, the visual senses. It creates a certain atmosphere. The famous knick-knack paddler, meticulously depicting hundreds of objects and psychological state of the children. It's all accurately depicted. Exhibition making is a dream of every curator. The aim of every exhibition should be to inspire or to stimulate excitement about works of art. My hope in general is that I bring better understanding, uh, curiosity and excitement to visitors in Chinese culture that I feel brings them closer to understanding China today. If I can help doing this, this would uh, satisfy me as a curator.